God bless you. Let me pray over you the echoes of victory. 50 intense prayer points to overcome witchcraft and spiritual attacks. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this time in your presence. We thank you for your intentions towards us. Before we go any further, we repent this morning, asking you to create in us a clean heart, renew the right spirit in us, and we thank you, Father, for purging us with hyssop. We surrender to your authority, your power. We come now because we are in desperate need of you. Father, we thank you that you're allowing us to put on the spiritual armor, the entire, the whole armor of God, that we're able to withstand the wiles, tricks, schemes of the enemy. And as we lift your word to you now, we come in complete and total agreement with you. We come in agreement with your plans towards us, which is to prosper us and give us an anticipated end. And so, Father, as we lift your word, we are confident that you hear us. We are confident that you're going to deliver us. We are confident that you're going to break the back of the adversary that's trying to oppress us. And so, Father, I pray the word over the people of God. I pray the scriptures now, and I thank you it is done in Jesus' name. Lord, according to Psalms 91, be my refuge and fortress. Deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. According to uh, the Ephesians 6, we're putting on the whole armor of God that we might stand against the schemes of the devil. Lord, grant us wisdom from above that that is pure and that is peaceable, that is gentle. Father, grant us the ability to reason and find mercy and good fruit. Let us be impartial and sincere. According to James chapter 3, verse 17, especially in the time of conflict and spiritual warfare. Father, we thank you for allowing us to take up the shield of faith, which now, God, we need more more than ever before to extinguish the fiery flaming dots of the evil one. According to Ephesians 6 and 16, instruct us and strengthen us because we put our trust in you. You are resilient and faithful in every battle. Father, infuse us with courage and boldness like you did Joshua so that we can be strong and courageous. And we thank you we will not be terrified or discouraged during this time. You are with us and you promise to be with us according to Joshua 1 and 9. Father, we thank you. Your word will run swiftly and it will be glorified in our life. Just as you did according to 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. You're breaking down barriers. You're bringing light into dark places. We thank you for your word. Father, guide us into spiritual maturity that we're growing in grace and knowledge. We're growing in the, in the knowledge of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Encourage us now to stand Firm in faith and love. You said in our weakness, your strength is made perfect. And so we thank you for that perfected strength. Father, let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let our life now be a life filled with peace and justice and righteousness as you taught us in Matthew 6 and 10. Father, restore unto us the joy of your salvation. O oh Lord, sustain us and make us a willing spirit. Allow us to be a living testament of your love and your joy and your peace that's showing up in Psalms 51 and 12. 
Protect us, O oh God, from the lies and the deceptions of the enemy and even the deceptions that we tell our own selves. Father, lead us in truth because you are the God of our salvation and we will wait on you all the day long according to Psalms 25 and 5. Father, let your truth be our shield and buckler. Guide us in truth and teach us your way. You are our God, and we will wait on you according to Psalms 25 and 5. We thank you, Lord, that you're cultivating us in the fruits of the Spirit. We thank you for love and joy and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We thank you for Galatians 5, 22 and 23, reflecting in our character in every situation, especially in times of intense warfare and spiritual attacks. Father, we thank you for giving us discernment to judge righteously, not according to the appearance or our own mind, or our own biases, but we thank you for righteous judgment that's taught in John chapter 7, verse 24. Help us discern spiritual realities beyond what we can see. Help us see things according to your mind and your will, not our will, but thine will be done. Father, we thank you that you are encompassing us with a shield and you have protected us with divine protection and favor. Your grace is leading us, is holding us, is hiding us. You're providing us safety and guidance in every step according to Psalms 5 and 12. Father, we thank you that in the name of Jesus, we declare that every curse every spell, every hex, every color magic is null and void. You said in your word, let no weapon formed against us prosper. You've given us authority according to Isaiah 54 and 17 in Jesus name. Father, you promise to restore the joy of your salvation. You promise to uphold us because our spirit is willing. We thank you, Father, that Psalms 51 and 12 remind us that you heal and restore what has been damaged and taken by by the enemy. So Father, we stand in divine healing even now because healing is your children's bread. Echo! Shekanamu! We stand in that divine healing now. Let your presence surpass us and all understanding. God, our minds and hearts through and in Christ Jesus. According to Psalms, I'm quoting Philippians chapter 4 and 7. You promise God to keep us calm and assured in turmoil that you are with us. You will never leave us or forsake us. Revive us, O oh Lord. According to your loving kindness, the psalm of your word is truth. And we receive it this moment by faith. We thank you, Father, that your ordinance are everlasting and everlasting. We thank you now for Psalms 119. It's renewing our spirit. It's calling us to come up out of death into life. Our faith is being revived daily. Oh God, we thank you. Open our eyes so that we can see spiritual realities and equip us with discernment to recognize combat schemes, plots, tricks, tricks of the enemy like Elijah prayed in 2 King chapter 6 verse 17. Lord, we put on the whole armor of God. We choose to walk in the armor of light as a child of yours, not in the deeds of darkness. Help us to live in truth and righteousness in your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Instruct us according to Romans chapter 2. 12, 13 and 12. Um, oh God, dispatch angels. <laughs> We thank you for dispatching angels to guard and protect us in all of our ways. You promised in Psalms 91 and 11 that you will not let our feet slip. You will not let us 
fall. Actually, you said you're going to keep us from falling. And so, Father, we receive your word by faith. We renounce the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has given us power, love, and a sound mind. Strengthen us to face every challenge with courage. According to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Oh God, Lord, surround us with fellow believers. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, who will stand with us in prayer. I undergird the people of God. I support them now. I hold them to spiritual accountability. Oh God, I bring them in to your divine work. I pray for unity and support. In the name of Jesus, according to Ecclesiastes 4 and 12, oh God, grant us wisdom from above that is pure and peaceable. Grant us wisdom that's gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruit, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Oh God, we release James uh, 3 and 17 uh, oh God uh, create in us a clean heart uh, renew the right spirit uh, in us uh, lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake, according to Psalms 51 and 10, oh God, may your glory, oh Lord, be the ultimate outcome in every battle. Yes, God, may your glory show up in my trials and every attack that we face. Let it reflect your power and your grace, according to 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Your strength is made perfect in our weakness. So, Lord, when we are strong, when we are weak, you are strong. Show yourself strong and mighty. Oh God, empower us as we submit ourselves and resist the devil so that he will flee from us. According to James 4 and 7, oh God, grant us authority to tread over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy ensuring us uh, that nothing, and I mean nothing, uh, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing.